Hi, I'm Chloe, and welcome to the show. Rather than our regular episode, today is more an open letter to YouTube and Google. Very recently changes were made to the terms of service which restricts monetization for videos that cover certain subjects, or use profanity. The excuse which you gave says it was to make the site more advertiser-friendly. What this essentially means is you are now censoring YouTube. While there are many abusive channels out there, there are also as many channels which cover important top button topic which the mainstream media simply will not touch. These channels provide a valuable service which doesn't sugarcoat the facts to appease the easily offended, or to conform with a political corporate agenda. In order to have a free and properly functioning democratic society free speech must extend to the internet. There can be no compromise on this issue. Not now with political forces in this country wanting to take away our freedoms under the pretense of making us more secure. Not now while a broken copyright system is being used to stifle opposing viewpoints and reviews. Our civil liberties are under constant threat and we need a free and open means of discussing these subjects. YouTube, until now, has been the perfect way of getting the news to the people who otherwise would never get it via mainstream corporate controlled means. Not all channels cover politically hot topics, but then who gets to decide what is, and isn't advertiser friendly? YouTube, who can say you won't block monetization from videos of products which get poor reviews? Can you be trusted not to bow to every advertiser's women censor content that isn't objectionable, but are critical of products and services which deserve to be criticized? This is the kind of censorship which harms democracy. I think that perhaps you've forgotten something important. YouTube, you need all of us, more than we all need you. Certainly there are YouTubers who make a career out of making videos on your site. Many are very talented individuals with certain kinds of skills, and if they were to work together it would be very bad for you. The copyright problem and past monetization rule changes have already forced some to take action. This is why services like Vessel and Patreon now exist. If popular YouTubers like PewDiePie were to move to another service, it is unrealistic to think his millions of subscribers would not move with him. YouTube, your efforts to monetize your service with YouTube Red isn't working out so well, so you are dependent upon advertiser revenue. The biggest sources of ad revenue on your site is from the largest channels. Tech Syndicate, Linus Tech Tips, PewDiePie, Smosh, Captain Sparkles, Jay's Two Cents. Paul's Hardware, IGN, Machinima, MKBHD, just to name a few. If these big channels left YouTube altogether for another service their viewers would move with them, and all but ad revenue would be lost. Your recent changes to the terms of service could potentially become the straw that broke the camel's back. YouTube isn't the only video service on the internet, and it is not impossible for you to be replaced by a new service built by YouTubers themselves. One or two of them may not be able to pull it off, but hundreds or even thousands of them working together could accomplish amazing things and you would be left behind. Let's be honest, how long can you keep your service going with just cat videos? Sure, millions flock to YouTube to watch other people's home videos, but more and more are cord cutters. People who are abandoning traditional, corporate-controlled television for new media on the internet. These people will go where the content is and in the near future that could potentially not be YouTube. As I said, you need us, more than we need you. This is a wake-up call. We can and will go elsewhere if we have to in order to protect our brands and our livelihood. We understand you want to make the advertisers happy, but you cannot make these kinds of sweeping changes that adversely affect our livelihood and not expect us to take actions that aren't in your best interest. It remains to be seen what damage your decisions will do, but rest assured that if we deem YouTube to no longer be a viable platform for our brands, we will move. We will not be the only ones to do so, and there is nothing you will be able to do to stop the exodus. Right now you still have time to prevent the inevitable. But, are you capable of doing what needs to be done to prevent your biggest revenue earning channels from leaving you behind? Only time will tell.
Will YouTube still be around in 10 years time, or will you be replaced by someone else? That is totally up to you. Thank you for watching. The regular show will return next week. If you have comments or suggestions consider coming over to the Gamers Bay community and sharing your thoughts and ideas. I've been Chloe, and we'll see you all next time.